My name is Rage, and welcome to all the next episode of our Pokemon Wine Nuzlocke Journey! And it is good, 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 it is good because we are so... No, Mr. Bonding. No. It is good because we are so deliciously close to claiming Ultimate Pokemon Championship. And I am excited, and so are you guys, and it's all awesome! Apart from you guys that want my Pokemon murdered, like this, this Lieutenant Shithead haters there is squishy haters how can you be a squishy hater like really what's new little blue ah uh, what's new little blue if it ain't the future champ i hate to disappoint but the gym leader's actually out right now he said he was off to the winding woods if you feel like searching for him i just imagine that's how he speaks. But yes, who's that Pokemon? Last week was Stunfisk. Can you get this week's you delectable, delicious people? <sighs> the appreciation challenge this week. By the way, last week's appreciation challenge, the channel changing, there was there are some interesting ones, as you'll find out throughout the video. But today's appreciation challenge, what I want you to do is win a Pokemon battle online with six of the same Pokemon. Ooh. All right, so we're in the Winding Woods. Oh, yeah, a lot of you were like, can't you just use the species clause on Drapion? But I technically caught a Skorupi, which is its pre-evolution. So does that actually count? And that's the Mossy Rock, which is the requirement for evolving into a Leafeon, if I am correct. A Kasib Berry. Okay, I will, I will Kasib that. And a Paralyze Heal. Really not going to come in that handy, but that's... Okay, that is, that is okay. And then from a comment by Diantha, Dude, I have an app that changes the TV channel. Get wrecked, mum! Um, y you have an interesting life, sir. That's all I'm gonna say. And yeah, the few of you raised a sort of issue. And yeah, in Omega Ruby and the playthroughs in Alpha Sapphire, etc, etc, I will not be reading out nearly as many comments and nearly as much of this backwards and forth I do. And the reason for that is that A, I'll be releasing episodes of that series a lot faster like a lot more frequently so I won't have time to wait and read and do it because otherwise it'll slow down production a lot and B it'll all be new and amazing and whoa to everyone so we don't need this extra sort of fun times that we have because we'll all just be enjoying all the new stuff together so it does make a lot of sense so don't worry if you don't like all the comments being read out and stuff because it won't happen nearly as much in Omega Ruby and that is two fairies which I'll be honest, is very good for me because I am going to. I am going to. Can I. Can I kill them with these guys? I feel like I can. I mean. Are they going to randomly one shot me? Because steel is good against fairies, but then fairies are good against other things. I'm just gonna do moves and we're just gonna see what happens, basically. I mean, I'm assuming. Oh wow, play rough. Bum, 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 bum. Let's hope that Aromatisse doesn't use a move on Bubbles. Oh. Oh, I nearly fucked up. So hard. I nearly fucked up. So. So hard. The hardness with which I nearly fucked up is legendary. Oh. Yes, he's dark, isn't he? I still keep thinking of him as pure water. Ooh, okay. That's all right. We're not going to worry about that. We are. We're not going to worry about that. That is. That is ridiculous. Fortunately, they're all dead now. And yeah, the reason I'm not using Lord of, guys, is because he's my super powerful backup Pokemon in case things go absolutely horrifically 
in the Pokemon League, so that's why that is going on. Also, you may notice that the XP share is back on. The reason it's back on is because I had a look at the levels of the upcoming Gym and Elite Four, because obviously I've done the game a million times, so it's not like I'm spoiling anything, and if I was to continue playing without using an XP share, what would happen is I'd get to the Elite Four and my Pokemon would be slaughtered without mercy, so believe me when I say yay, to avoid me having to do hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of grinding. Yeah. I, I require, I require some XP share times. I really, really do, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really do, so believe me. Okay, so LT Bubbles. Nope, trying his best. A lot of you were like, teach Waterfall to Squishy, and I would, but in order to do that, I'd have to delete Surf, and I can't delete Surf because Surf is a HM, and I'm not entirely sure where the move deleter is, so that's kind of a problem. I have a feeling it's literally in the town that I'm in, but at the same time, it might not be, and I don't think you want to watch me run around for 10 minutes looking for an NPC. Oh, this looks promising. Nope, maybe? Kinda? Hello? Wolfric? Wolfric, my friend? Wolf, that's the exit to the woods, isn't it? Oh no! Yay! Oh yeah, the Pokemon Village! Hey! Oh no, they're all gonna run away from me! Oh no! You know what is this... You know the, the oh wait no what place should I do for Wolfric? You know what this place is? Welcome to the Pokemon Village. This place is a secret, you know. <laughs> There's a Pokemon here run away, escape from bad people, they did awful things to them. Damn! I feel like Mr. Bonding is responsible for most of the Pokemon here. Then, oh that is brilliant. Hmm, I see you, Pokemon. I you think you've had a good time together, haven't you? Hey, you can all come out now. This one's all right. Yay! I'm all right. Awesome. Sometimes I get worried and come here to check on everyone. Oh, excuse me, as we haven't even met the name of I'm usually over the gym, so we're leaders, since I'm the leader! 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 That's right. <laughs> Not really. So anyway, I'll be waiting back at the gym then. Before you come by, I think it'd be good if you were to spend some time with the Pokemon here. Well then. Bafoof! Okay, so what I'm going to do is probably put... Well, for a start, I'm going to put the lucky egg back on the toasty because he is the most behind and then I am going to put flamerific not flamerific oh no that's that's my little brother's Char Charizard for, for a pyrofessional in the front because he needs to do some serious leveling up if he is going to trash the ice gym now can we actually have an encounter in the Pokemon village I feel like we can and that's the Mewtwo cave over there right I'm pretty sure so this is our Pokemon village Pokemon and it is and a moon goose. A freaking a moon goose. You know what I think of you, a moon goose. You know what I think of you. Yeah, you're gonna be some roasted mushrooms. And I'm gonna nom you. So while well, we trash this a moon goose, so random Pokemon generator says that that's Omnistar. Nope, you've still not got one right, my friend. And then appreciation challenge failed once, going to go round two, will update when I fail. And then three updates later, oh, attempt four, managed to smuggle the TV row into another room, change the channel from the other room, no one even is slightly suspicious. This was a difficult appreciation challenge. Well, there you go. There you go. You people take it seriously. And yes, I mean you people. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so, 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 it's magic, you know, never believe it's not so. Well, actually, I just want to leave the Pokemon Village, there's no real reason to be here now that I've had an encounter. Please don't give me another one. Okay, we're going to move carefully, carefully, yep, through there. Don't, whoop, yeah, this is like dodging fire, here we go. Here we go, here we go, there we go! So we can still have an encounter in the woods, which we should indeed do. Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? And this is our Winding Woods Pokemon, and it is! Yeah, that's about right, isn't it? That's, um... That's about right. That's, uh... Well, I mean, technically, if the Scurupy species clause counts, then... The lower evolution counts, because I turned one away in the previous area. So I'm going to take another encounter real quick. And it is! Ooh, Gotharita. A nice, pure, strong, psychic type. Uh, do I actually care about 
Well, I'm going to use a fly, and if it doesn't kill, then I will capture. If it does kill, then oh well. Because while it's useful to have a psychic, I don't really like this as a Pokemon. I think it looks a little bit weird. Heal block! Okay. I guess, I guess you're not, I guess I'm not healing then. That's fine. Pokeball, Pokeball, does whatever a Pokeball does. Can it catch the Pokemon? It can, because that's its job. Go! Boom. Da-da. 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 da 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 Oh. My. God. Oh my god. Bitch, did you just... Did you just... I'm gonna kill you. I am going to kill you. Die! You think I need more Pokemon? No. The six Pokemon I have in my party are legends, and they are going to conquer the Elite Four. I don't need no backups. I've got all the backup I need in the power of the quack. Okay, so can I actually... Do I need to escape rope here, or can I fly away? Fly away, fly away. Do I even have an escape rope? I feel like I did. Okay, apparently I don't. Well, that's just awkward, isn't it? Okay, Pyrofessional, I need you to fly me back to the town where we're going to stomp some icy bitches. Oh, we're gonna stomp the icy bitches because you are a fire of death. Although you are part flying, which is very annoying, but I don't think anybody's going to beat your flamethrower drought fly combo. I feel like you're going to trash everyone, and that is great, yes. Okay, nice joy. Heal me up. It's all good. Sweet, so it is time, ladies and gentlemen, to tackle the final and eighth gym. I am excited. It is going to be good. Good! Hello, sir. Yes, you may help me. I will allow it. I would like a... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. They're Pokeballs. I was like, where is the healing on this list? I am a dumbass. All right, so Hyper Potion Max Potion. Let's get some Max Potions, because I hear Max is a swell guy. All right, lovely. So we've got full restores, we've got Max Potions, and I think we are all set to conquer the fridge's waste of this gym. And yeah, apparently Toasty sucks because Ice Grass sucks because it's got like nine super effective things against it, or seven, one of the two. So yeah, I can kind of understand that. But he does look badass, so I mean, there's that. Oh, this gym. I hate this gym. It took me so long to figure out the puzzle in this gym to start with. You have no idea. Oh, all right. Just need to beat all the trainers. And then we'll be fine. I mean, if they're all using ice Pokemon, I just, I don't see. Well, it depends what their levels are. If it's like suddenly level 60, somehow. Sneasel. Sneasel's not even fully evolved because it's Weavile, isn't it? Weavile, Weavile, Weave, Weave. Oh, okay, they're about my level, which is actually kind of worrying now that I think about it. Ooh, we're about to go mega. And then we're about to flame you in the face. You're gonna get destroyed, bitch, because is it just me, or is it Sunny in here? Also, 169. <laughs> Another comment on the previous video, which I absolutely loved, is when Bubbles nearly got one shot, and I was going, what, 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 what? Someone commented with, what, 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 walk up into the club, like, what up, I got a bit, you know, the, the song, the, uh, yeah, see? Because I was like, ah, uh, I accidentally did that. Cloister. God damn it, really? Cloister's technically got water aspects, doesn't it? So, I mean, I guess I'll go Goku and Aura Sphere, because then that'll super affect the ice part of things. Why is fighting good against, like, rock, ice, steel, things that would all hurt so much to actually punch? Like, I don't... Why? Aura Sphere, Aura Sphere, does whatever a Goku does. Can it kill a Cloister? It can. Die, bitch. Okay. And then a comment from the Hunters 17. Imagine Rage beating Shauna in a dark corner with a whip for not addressing him as her lord and laughing evilly while she screams that she's sorry. Sorry what? D what? What is what? What is wrong with you? Why would you even call it that? Why would you even think? Why would that enter your brain? Oh, that is just weird. All right, let's go fight Mr. Blue Man. Gee, ugh, oh, just weird. Weird. And then there was also, finally, a comment from Mega Toasty, who did an impromptu Tenacious D parody of how he's now good. So there you go. 
Ah, Deli Bird, you are lame! And you are about to get toasty, but not from the toasty. I'm just gonna burn you to ash and cinders. And boom! Roar! There we go. There we go. And the drought comes down. The drought comes down and flamethrower away! Well, that was a surprise, really. The ice, I feel like ice is just such a generally weak type. Like, like compared to water, which is its closest type thematically, ice is just so... Oh, I tried to switch to Pyrofessional. It didn't work. Mammo swine. Ooh, you're a big-ass mammoth, but... You... Have I told you the story? I feel like I have, but I used to think that Mammo Swine was super affected by fire because it was a hairy Pokemon and all of the hair on it got set on fire because that was back when I wasn't completely sure of types. Like, I used to genuinely think that. I also think I'm going to use my rare candy on Pyrofessional before the gym leader, just in- Oh, close combo! Comboot! Close comboot! Yes, let's get rid of Aura Sphere because technically close comboot is better because Goku is more physically inclined. It is a shame though, because Horosphere is such a badass move. And it is his signature move. You've frozen my heart solid, now give me your money and we'll freeze your bank accounts. Hey hey! Oh wait, yeah, we need to do the blue thing. See, I don't know why I thought this puzzle was hard, because it's literally just beat trainers and then use button until you can pass. But apparently I really never understood that. So what I need- oh no, why- wait, no, this is- yeah, this is actually why why I fail really hard at the thing, because I just used to wander backwards and forwards for so long trying to work out what the hell it is that I'm supposed to be doing. So now that I can do this, this will go like that, and then I can go over here, swap this one back, and then go across the bridge in the middle, right? No. No, wrong. So have I just locked myself out of the gym now? I feel like that's what I've done. I feel like I've just straight up... Oh no, there was just an extra thing. Okay, good. See, I know what I'm doing, guys. Do not worry. I am totally aware. It's to cool down and clear my head with a refreshing chilled dessert. If this person has a Vanillux, I am going to laugh so hard. Please have a Vanillux. Cryogonal! I hate Kragonel, it looks so silly. I mean, it kind of is cool, it's like a symbol thing, but I don't know, I hate floating object type Pokemons. I, I, Pokemons, Pokemogs! My little brother used to call them Pokemogs. And if you haven't watched me and my little brother have his first attempt at the Elite Four yesterday, I mean, you really totes should. Okay, Mega Charizard, do your thing! Mega Charizard Y is like beast against ice, because it's just, he's fast and he's ridiculously powerful. Like, Stab Flamethrower in Drought is stupid good. Lovely XP, lovely. Pillow Swine, I will keep battling. I mean, you could at least have the courtesy to evolve it into a Mammo Swine so I get more XP from killing you, but I mean, if you're not gonna do that, that is fine. And you'll see when we get to the gym leader why I've had the XP share on, guys, because he has one high-level Pokemon. And it's an old favorite that caused a lot of debate, actually. Okay. Yay, Toasty's 52. Lovely. Oh, Jinx. Good Oh, I, Why do I keep trying to switch to Pyrofessional? I really, really am not sure what I'm doing, honestly. Oh yeah, the other actual last thing, because all my Pokemon have Pokerus, apparently there is a 1 in 21,845 chance of that happening. That's ridiculous! That is ridiculous, that's more chance than a shiny! And the rest of the comment was, nerd, I know right, and then, notice me senpai. Well, I have noticed you, Molotov Piggy, and your amazing name to be fair, Molotov Piggy is awesome. Okay, so we do that. Okay, that's good. But now we don't really have a way of accessing the yellow, so I guess I kind of need to swap it again. And there we go. Now I can access the yellow, and then that will let me do the thing. But this is one of the gyms where you actually do have to beat everyone. Although I guess there is only four people to beat, so it kind of uh, balances things out. Ace Trainer Theo, Bear Tick! Oh yes, the cool bear Pokémon. I mean, out of all the bear Pokémon, Ursa Ring, Bear Tick, and... Uh, the evolution of the Pancham that got away. I think the Pancham one is by far the base. Based? It's the based Pancham! I just hate Bertic's icicle beard. I think it looks stupid. Like, really, really stupid. Just generally speaking. 
And down goes the drought. Here we go. Here we go. Boom! Lovely. Bye, Vetic. See you later. See you later, my friend. Lovely. No one's really getting levels. Hey, but it looks there it is. I knew someone had to have this ridiculous ice cream Pokemon. I mean, it just looks so tasty and so happy and so shocked to be alive. Really does. This gym is hard, guys. This gym is really hard. Isn't this exciting and tense? <laughs> oh, awesome. Levelly up on all the levelly ups. Fire spin. Why would I want to learn fire spin? Unless it's a different move that I'm thinking of. No, it's just the one that keeps doing it. No, why would I Why would I want that? Just really. No. No, keep on moves. That is fine. Yes, give up on fire spin. I mean, flame throw is technically the best fire move, because anything powerful loses accuracy, and you don't really want to risk losing the accuracy for stuff. Still, I'm worried a little bit as to how I'm going to defeat the gym leader with level 55, but we'll see. I mean, I do obviously have ridiculously mega type advantage, so I do have that going for me. So now I simply need to change it to the one that lets me across... And we are go for Wolfric! Wolfric, Wallerick, Wall, Wall, Walla, Wall. Okay. Hello, you icy sir, who is quite a badass, to be fair. I mean, look at him. He's like a massive ice dude, which doesn't have many clothes on. I mean, he's not even sure how to properly use a coat. Depending on which Pokemon shoots, you have a better chance of a total pushover. That's right. That's how it should be. Anyway, enough of my rambling. I like how he's basically preempting that if you have a fire Pokemon, you're going to dominate me just to kind of make up for the lame eighth gym. Ugh. I feel like only maybe half the gyms in the game actually get like good story and backstory to the gym leaders and you care about them. And Abomasnow is gonna get trashed so hard by Charizard. Oh my God, it's four times effective. Drought, flamethrower, at drought. Drought, that's the one. Drought, Draugr. Oh, this is going to be, and, and I'm not even gonna take any hail because I'm immediately going to cancel it out with the drought, so that's fantastic. And there we go, the sunlight turned harsh, and I'm sorry, Obama Snow. It pains me, given I have one of you, but you are so unbelievably dead. Goodbye. I wonder if Mega Obama Snow would have survived that. I'm thinking not. Level 50, why is Squishy so far ahead of everyone? Cryagonal. Oh no. Oh, not a Cryagonal. How will I ever compete? Oh no. I'm actually losing PP on Flamethrower. I've trashed that many Ice Pokemon. Bye, Cryagonal. See you later. Well, Wolfric, you certainly deserve to be the strongest gym leader in the Kalos region. Have a look. Here he is, guys. The table. This is why we didn't want Bergamite. Get ready for this. If you have not seen this Pokemon, you're in for a treat. Look, it's a table. How could anyone not say that that is not a table Pokemon? And he's level 59, which is why I was very, very worried. Wow. Wow, I just... Wow. Bye, table. <laughs> that was just so ridiculous. Yay, Toasty on the 53. Lovely. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smash... You're not tough as an iceberg, man. Well, I guess you're tough as an iceberg that's been exposed to extreme heat. You got that going for you. <sighs> Here we go, everybody. The final badge. Yes, indeed. The iceberg badge. Lovely. Now that other Pokemon will look up to you and do their absolute best. Let me give this an Ice Beam. What I am worried about is the Water Elite 4 member, because it's the only one I don't have a direct counter for. I really need some sort of Thunder type move, or even Grass. I just, I have nothing that's good against Water. I feel like I'll have to use Squishy and just kind of squish my way through it. Boom. That looks so cool, to be fair. But I also realize that now... How are, the, how are the trainers supposed to get out? And why am I enjoying perpetual momentum generated from no initial input? I mean, we'll never, never know the physics of the Pokemon world, will we? We'll just never, ever know. Oh. There's the future champ I know and love. Looks like he trumped our old gym leader. He's never been a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right or am I right? Is it just such a star? I guess that means you're off to the Pokemon League. You know what? I'm singing like him. You have all the gym badges, so there's only one thing left to do. It's time you're heading off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon, and there's no limit to what you can achieve. Good. 
brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, random Obama snow as well. And frosty fashion. So I guess, ladies and gentlemen, it really is time to just head to the next route and head to the Pokemon League. Although we do have to make it up Victory Road, which is probably going to be quite difficile. I'm not going to lie. Uh, who shall we even use? I guess Bubbles, maybe, for a while? I mean, he's quite low level, though, that's the thing. Uh, I don't know, Bubbles, you really need to catch up with everyone, man. Although Squishy up there in front, I feel like I'm going to have five of my Pokemon are going to be the right level to have a really good fight with the Elite Four, but then Squishy is just going to arrive and like, What's up, bitches? Time to stomp all your asses! Alright, so let's see what our Pokemon is going to be for Route 21. Please be something I can actually use as a competent backup. Ursa Ring! I actually really like Ursa Ring, to be fair. I think Ursa Ring is a stellar Pokemon. Alright, so let's not actually kill it. Psychic will do pretty much a lot of damage. Will Acrobatics kill an Ursa Ring? I mean, I guess we'll find out. Please let it survive. Oh, wow. Nice. And it's only using Slash in return. Which did a large amount of damage. Not gonna lie there. Not going to, uh, not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna go to Urza, who can just tank up against this. I realize I can actually use Shadow Sneak, which is the only move I could use. But what I'm going to try and do is get a nice early capture. Heal Ball! No, let's not put him in a pink ball. Go, Pokeball! Ursa Ring looks just so furious with everything. Boom! Here we go. Da da. Da da. Da da. Da 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 da. Yeah! Ursa Ring in the house! Oh, he is. Oh, sorry about that jump cut, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, the software was all like, nah, bro, I am out. I gave you a few good episodes, but no, I'm gone. Right in the middle of Ursa Ring being captured as well. Like, seriously. He was captured, as you did at least manage to see, and I called him Bearfessional because uh, of the Bearfessionals. It's Mother Nature's Pokemon. Now, I want to get past her without actually getting in a battle, because I, I, it's like Pokemon Frogger. Oh! Oh, bitch! <laughs> it's also probably why I'm not actually, you know, leveling up as much as I should, but still! Alright, these are going to be a double battle, so I am going to use Goku and Squishy, I think would be cool here. I just need to raise everyone's levels with my high levels and then catch everyone up because I have a feeling that things are going to get quite... Can I actually avoid them? Hmm, I technically can. Oh, and that's... That's the elite. Okay, so I might as well take at least one battle on this route. Is there anything over there? Just a strength. Alright, well, I'm not that bothered about that. Well then, to glorious battle! Once you've memorized all the Pokemon moves, abilities, victory just comes naturally. Yeah, sure it does. Sure it does. You need two of you to try and beat one of me. You're not very good. Elite duo, Sean scene. Waylord and Vile Plume. Wow. A fucking Whale Lord. A Whale Lord. And they're both level 57. Why is everyone so powerful? Just, why is everyone so powerful? And also, isn't Vile Plume part poison, which means... Squishy's probably actually in trouble. Either way, hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna consult the magic of my psychic powers to aid me in this fight. So, I mean, grass, right? We need. Ooh, poison is super effective against grass. Although poison's not super effective against poison, so that actually doesn't really help me in any way, shape, or form. Now that I think about it. I can't go to Pyrofessional because they have water. They actually have each other pretty much covered nicely. Hmm. Fighting is not very good against poison, so I can't just go for an all-power close combat. So maybe Goku isn't even the best to use here. And it's not like this. There's no point attacking Wailord to start with, because Wailord's got so much health that I just need to get Vileplume out the way. So the best way to get Vileplume out the way... Vileplume's so good! If it is Grass Poison, like I think, it cancels out its Poison Weakness, and it cancels out its Ground Weakness by being Poison Grass. That is a... That is... That's not bad. Either way, I'm going to try a Bone Rush on Vileplume. 
and basically we're gonna see what happens. And then I am going to play rough it just for some massive stab damage. So here we go. Let's hopefully survive a turn. That would be nice. Oh, please let this somehow kill it. Please. Wow. I feel like it's quite the um tanky Pokemon. Well, at least we're getting lots of hits. And Squishy went next! <gasps> no! Well, at least the Wailord Lord isn't using offensive move, so that's good. Stun Spot. Alright, no offensive moves were actually used. That's really, really okay with me, actually. I'm, I am fine with that. And then we are just going to... Poison Jab, I think, because it's more likely to actually kill it. Even though it's, it's it'll be one times effective, so that's okay. And then Squishy, I guess, we'll just try a play rough on Whale Lord just to see if we can break through the paralysis and kill it. Okay, good. Wild Plume is gone. Whew, this is like an intense fight to end the episode with, is it not? Hey, Barabashnel57. Awesome. Another Amnesia. Oh, God, this is going to be the hardest to kill Whale Lord you've ever seen. Please do some damage. Okay. What? I'm just going to accept that that happened, I think, actually. Boom, 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 boom. It's just like punching the shit out of a giant whale. And we got a crit as well. And Whale Lord is worth ridiculous experience, if I recall. Oh no, it's like... The hearing Pokemon Ordino, which is getting a Mega Evolution, which is fantastic, is getting a Mega. So I imagine how much XP Mega Ordino is going to be worth. Actually, does Mega improve XP? You don't face enough Megas for me to remember that, actually. No, but okay. Alright, so... Here we have... The Elite Four. Let's get into Victor Road. Only Pokemon trades have collected all the badges in my bed. I don't imagine this one, two, three, four. Whoa, you have a lead. Well, let me just... Bit... Fuck. Did not think he would battle me. Thought he'd just quickly let me through. And then I'd be good. Sugar. Actually, Goku is here. Wait... 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 Carbink... Carbink... Carbink should really evolve. Rock Fairy... Which, using my special psychic powers... Means that... Damn it, it cancels out its fight and poison weakness. That is just... Bull... Schlacker. Is what that is. Bull Schlacker. Well, at least Bone Rush should actually be okay. Now that I now that I think about it. But well, at least Carbink isn't going to kill. Go well, famous last words there, because it's a defensive tanky type di dude. But still, Bone Rush. Yay! Wow, that's super effective, is it? Only two times as well. Stealth Rock. Brilliant. Killing this guy is going to be a real challenge, isn't it? I should have just Swords Dance, shouldn't I? In fact, I'm going to Swords Dance if it survives this. I mean, it would need two more hits. Moon Blast. That did a fair amount of damage, all things considered. However, because that will be its most offensive move, I'm actually going to use this opportunity to set up a few Swords Dances. Because I'm going to take another Balloon Blast, then I'm going to heal. Then I am going to Swords Dance again. And then I'm going to use Goku and straight up sweep his team. I love how every now and then the, the idle animation Mega Lucario is just, Yeah, I'm so pumped right now! Okay, so he's going to heal up, take another Moon Blast. I'm going to Swords Dance, take another Moon Blast, heal up, and then we'll kill everything. Maybe I should do one more Swords Dance. Although a Mega Lucario is going to... He's going to pretty much swamp the floor. Swamp the floor. Yes, he's going to swamp the floor. I don't know what with, but he's going to swamp the floor. I may be over-preparing for this whole thing, but, you know. Always be prepared. I mean, technically speaking, I could keep doing this until he runs out of PP on Moonblast, if I wanted to be really safe. But I feel it might be the most dull battle since Lysander. Ching! This is going to be really awkward if it turns out I'm not faster than the next Pokemon to come out and I have to switch and all of that prep time was just completely wasted. Bye Carbink, see you later! Who is next? 
Right you I will keep battling actually, because right you is going to get bone rushed. And that would be super effective. And Wow. Them saw dances. And he had at least another hit to arrive as well. Bloody hell! That is powerful. That is really powerful. That's awesome. Who is the final Kingdra? Kingdra, Kingdra, Dragon Water. Well, Dragon, Dragon, Dragon. Dragon, Dragon, Dragon. Dragon, Dragon, Dragon. Dragon. I am going to keep battling because I've done two two attacks up, which means I have a feeling that a close combat stab double attack up from a Mega Doku, I mean, it's just going to hammer it, isn't it? Yeah, so I don't really need to care about tight matchups there. See, I'm learning! Bye, Kingdra. You were a worthy opponent, and by worthy, I mean, lol, no, you weren't. Hey, everyone's actually leveling up, but still, we need to level up a lot faster if we're going to be able to tackle Victory Road. We really, really do. Alright guys, that will do for today's episode, we have got the final badge, and we are going to head to the Hall of Champions, but we will do that next time, so for now, my name has been Rage, and if you like, if you enjoyed this, it really does help guys, and I do honestly appreciate it, as you know, a good boy, I don't actually know where it is that I'm, oh, there we go, Santa Luan City, where's the, where's the center of Pokemons, wow, it's been a while since I've been here, hasn't it, I don't remember where the center is, um, found it! There we go! Remember to subscribe for more. Oh, good boy!